Migraine stages Migraines develop in four stages. Patients with migraines with aura, also known as classic migraines, are most likely to experience all four stages. Patients who have common migraines, migraines without aura, will have the same stages, but are not consciously aware of them. The interval between migraines is sometimes referred to as the fifth stage of a migraine. Stage 1, prodrome The prodromal phase usually begins one or two days prior to the actual migraine headache. Many migraineurs call this the premonition phase. Feelings during this phase are all over the map. Each migraineur has their own personal prodrome profile. Some are giddy, happy, and full of energy, far more so than usual. Others feel a headache start with fatigue, weakness, and irritability. Anything can herald a migraine and each person has to learn their own prodrome signs if they want to learn to stave off the migraine. Stage 2, Aura This phase is skipped by most migraineurs, since most migraineurs suffer from common migraine, migraine without aura. For those who experience classic migraine with aura, auras can begin anywhere from 5 minutes to an hour before the headache begins. Auras are visual effects migraineurs experience. Objects appear to have bright auras or halos around them. Lightning flashes arc over the field of vision until sight is whited out just before the pain begins. Stage 3, headache This phase lasts anywhere from 4 to 72 hours. Most common is a one-sided headache with a throbbing or pulsing characteristic. The headache is frequently accompanied by stomach upset, nausea, vomiting, and sensitivity to light, sound, smell, or some combination of the three. Stage 4, postrome coming away from a migraine can be as unpleasant as building up to one. Postrome is often characterized by tenderness of the head, neck, and stomach. Weakness and fatigue are also common in this phase. Common migraine food triggers no one knows for sure what causes migraine headaches. The most likely to answer to date is that a series of small irritations or reactions pile up until, finally, a migraine headache is triggered. Migraine triggers are different for each individual, but many migraineurs claim that a particular food or combination of foods will push them over the edge into a headache. Keep in mind that most science disagrees with migraineurs when it comes to food triggers. There are no conclusive studies indicating a link between certain foods and migraine headaches, so all information is anecdotal. The thing is there is a lot, tons in fact, of anecdotal evidence for the link. While a migraine trigger food can be, quite literally, anything, some foods come up on the trigger list for enough people to merit discussion. Cheese cheese is a major trigger for many migraineurs. Particularly likely to cause an attack are hard or aged cheeses. Soft cheeses like cream cheese and new cheeses seem to be fine and unlikely to cause problems. Processed meats nitrates are believed by many to be a major migraine trigger. For most people, the most common source of nitrates is processed meat, items like hot dogs, sausage, bacon, processed lunch meats, etc. Condiments salad dressings are a trigger for many. The reason is not known, but is probably tied to a combination of other triggers all coming together in one place. Spices and additives Any spice can be a trigger. Spices as triggers may be tied, at least partially, to scent sensitivity, since many spices have a pungent odor. Seasonings that seem to give migraine or the most trouble include monosodium glutamate MSG, common in Asian foods, artificial sweeteners, food dyes, and vinegar. Migraine or who suspect a food trigger should consider trying an elimination diet to pinpoint the trigger foods.